Welcome to another studio tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about publishing. Now, publishing a website is quick and easy on Studio. There are currently two plans available, a free plan that lets you publish with a Studio subdomain, and a paid plan that lets you publish with a custom domain, add white labeling so you can remove the Studio banner on your website, and you can add third-party app integrations. Let's first look at publishing with a Studio subdomain. On Studio, you can publish your website for free if you use a subdomain like yourwebsitename.studio.design. So let's click Publish, and I'll begin adding my subdomain, portfolio-warhol.studio.design. Now I can click Save, and then click Publish. Now I have a link that I can share with others, and my website is live on the web now. Now if I want to publish to a custom domain, I can again click Publish, and by clicking Upgrade Now, I can enter in my credit card information, and this will allow me to connect my domain, remove the studio banner, and add third-party service integrations. Now after my project is upgraded, I can click on Use Own Domain, and then I can type the domain that I own. Once you click OK, you're going to get instructions to input a following record into your server settings. And the steps to do this are different depending on who your domain provider is. In this brief example, I'll show you how to change this in GoDaddy. After you log in to your GoDaddy account, you'll want to click on the DNS button next to your domain name. Next, you can scroll down until you find the list of records and then click the Add button below. Now you can change the type to A, add an at symbol for the host, and then paste in the number that Studio gives you. And lastly, just hit the Save button. Now again, this is just an example for GoDaddy. If you're unsure what to do here, I would recommend talking to your domain provider and they will walk you through how to add this to your records. It's also important to note once you add this record, the connection is not instant and may take one hour or more to finally connect. Now after I add this record, I can come back to Studio and click OK and we can see that our custom domain is now connected. Studio will now automatically go through the steps of getting me an SSL certificate. An SSL is a certificate that guarantees the security of a website. All websites on Studio are automatically SSL certified, so there are no additional settings required after publishing your website. Now, after all these settings are complete, you can click Publish and see that we do have a custom domain. And that's just a quick overview of publishing your website to either a subdomain or a custom domain of your choice. Now, after you upgrade your account, you can click into the dashboard and click in the Apps section, and you will have access to all of these apps now. So, you can disable the Designed with Studio display banner on your site, and you can also connect to Google Analytics, Tag Manager, Search Console, Intercom, and Facebook Pixel. Now, remember, before you can integrate these third-party apps, you'll need to upgrade your account.